dude it is another beautiful saturday <laughs> I, I couldn't make this stuff up well you know it is winter so it's uh snowy it's blowy um calling for another 20 centimeters of snow but um that's okay because it was cold and now oh wow there's some interesting tracks here oh look there's a pickup towing a trailer towing a pickup and uh yeah that's he's going slow it's yeah anyway since we're going slow you know what safety first we'll wait till we get around the corner people got their four ways on again because visibility is less than perfect but it's pretty <laughs> pretty snowy oh winter it's a winter wonderland um but yeah so we're just headed to the shop and dad update dad's been working on uh stubby because stubby's basically dad's truck and i'm quite anxious to see uh to see what he's done on it because he's been uh doing some things so so yeah so anyways uh oh yeah that was a pickup pulling another pickup so that's awfully nice of him because you know it's less than stellar but uh but yeah let's get to the shop see what dad's been working on and you know what what's the best thing to do on a winter blowy snowy yucky day go inside and work on your toys you know if you got a shop if you got a garage go work on your truck <laughs> if your truck's outside nah, put it off for another day because <laughs> you know if it's snowy and miserable so that's what i'm gonna do so anyways onward and upward or onward and forward or forward and for see a truck oh great prepare for the whiteout <laughs> uh, yeah, there we go oh where oh jesus christ is our savior oh that scared me <laughs> uh, it's fine it's fine well, I think I speak for everyone in Northern British Columbia when I say, I'm tired of winter. So, <sighs> it's, yeah, there's some snow banks now. And you know what? It's pretty, but it's also pretty annoying. And I really should have got K2 out of there sooner because now we're piling snow around it. But whatever. You can only do what you can do. <sighs> oh. Dad's here. Hi, Dad. <laughs> um, wow. So Dad's been working on this while I've been at work. And he took the, the other thingy off and filled the holes with ribbits. And give it a 10 foot paint job. A 10 foot paint job is good enough for now, that's for sure. Well, the funny part is this color actually matches really good. Yeah, we'll just paint the whole thing. <laughs> well, I'm gonna... Because from there, it looks good. From here, not as good, but it still looks good. <laughs> well, it looks better than it was. Yeah. Well, the thing is, until a person um, can, like, give it a proper paint job to seal it up, and then we had to get some more rivets for here, and then... those double holes there. They made a couple extra holes when they put it on put it on the first time this thing has been rectal because this is new and if you look at the cab mounts at the back the cab has been pushed back at one time think so yep you look at both cab mounts and they're both been bent back up here see right up here I thought that was just rust jacking. No. The cab's been pushed back and then pushed ahead. Same on the other side. Both the sides are the same. Oh. And I was just looking at these rivets, and all these are all rusty, and, you know, and they're a different rivet than there. So this panel has been replaced at one time. Oh, well, could be. I think. I don't know. I mean, I might be wrong. But it don't matter well and you see how this line comes down that's basically what i'm going to do on smoky yeah. is the plan <laughs> gotta get back to work though um oh yeah yeah it's just make it almost makes me think mate well 
yeah, I don't know. So, Dad singled it out. Those wheels are sure dirty. <laughs> Those are the inside wheels. The inside wheels. Well, and the cool thing is these are the original wheels for the truck. So Yeah. Because I, I <laughs> once upon a time, I thought it'd be cool to take, because those are Peterbilt oval wheels, get them polished up and put four of them on low and slow and leave four of them on this side on the outside. And then, uh, but it doesn't matter. <clears throat> oh, they'll polish up. Oh, yeah. Well, in the summertime, we can clean them up or yep. whatever. So the other thing Dad did, guys, ugh, is he cut. I don't know if you can see it all right, but cut all the bolts off. So this deck is almost ready to come off. Um, but he discovered that right up in there, I don't know if you can see it very well, but right, right there, there's an angle that goes in and down and it's bolted to the frame. So he's got to cut it off. And then, and then the little deck, can go in the snowbank and then it'll just be <laughs> won't be little deck anymore it'll be just short stubby peterbilt or maybe it'll be in the scrap pile it'll be in the scrap pile <sighs> and it's going to go on top of the snowbank because there's nowhere under the snow that it'll fit <laughs> <laughs> that we haven't already piled snow which is fine hey well now once we get it off then you can see what the frame looks like and what you want to do yeah. yep, yep. whether you put a fifth wheel on it or another little deck or stretch it out to 400 inch wheelbase <laughs> no no if we stretch it out one set of holes and make a 200 inch wheelbase which is just nice for a cowboy yeah make it more usable i mean I, uh, <laughs> er, er, oh. this was the original wheelbase when it was new it was ordered short for an, um, a mobile home mover and it's kind of cool i'm not gonna lie it's kind of cool but i don't i don't think it it's really it's probably rougher than a son of a gun being this short because i know uh well like with the train tractors we used to be 144 inch wheelbase for a train tractor which is what this is now yeah and they were rough because they're so short. Yeah, right. The longer the wheelbase, the better it rides. 400 inch it is. <laughs> That's why they stretch them out. Yeah. So any of you guys that are wondering why they stretch them out, it's so it rides better. Because they ride better. That's the why- Cement highways used to be a killer on trucks. Yeah. That's why they come up with air ride is, if you had the wrong wheelbase on a cement highway, they would just sh literally shake the truck apart. We don't have cement highways in Canada, at least not on the west coast, west side, but just south of the border in Washington state, they do. I remember my old F-350 going in through there and the solid front axle would start wrapping to where it was just like, bang, 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 bang. So I can only imagine what a truck would be like. Well, I took a load of lime down to Coos Bay, Oregon with my Hayes, and it was 200 inch wheelbase. And the company tractors, Kenworth, Ken cab over were 144 and the Kenworths shook dash screws out of the dash. The dash literally fell apart. They're so rough. Wow. And the guys refused to take the company trucks down there again. And mine actually was good and it was rubber block suspension, but it's just the right wheelbase. <laughs> but well, well, I guess the first thing with this one is to pull the deck off and then see what, see what it looks like. Who knows, maybe it's all rust jacked and a person will have to cut it apart anyways. Well, I was looking at Smokey and it's rust jacked pretty bad and I thought if it's real bad, just shorten it up and it'll be 188 inch wheel babies. <laughs> Except I don't want to shorten Smokey. <laughs> and that would be the simplest. <laughs> well, true. And before we, before we, um, <laughs> Before we do anything on the back end of Smokey, we need to make him run and drive. Because once he's running and driving, then right. we have time to do the other stuff. But well, right you now... you don't even have to do it right away if you're not going to use it commercially. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Pull the fifth wheel off, take a big sledgehammer and beat the frame rail back down. 
I don't think it's that easy. <laughs> well, I got a 16 pound sledge, if you can swing it. Well, I know, but you got to get the rust out first. Yeah. So, Once we uh, get the rust jacking out, then it would be fine, but. Oh, if you hit it with a 16 pound sledgehammer, the rust jacking will come loose. Yeah. <laughs> oh, well. Oh. Well. Yeah, I guess we'll get to it. And I was just looking. <clears throat> you know, we've had a bit of snow this year. When we look out the north side of the shop where it doesn't get the sun and the snowbank is up to the window. Not over the window yet, but it's up to it. <laughs> I was thinking if you wanted those exhaust pipes for this thing that were on Smoky, we should almost dig them out. If I get to that, we will. <laughs> Mind you, in a couple of weeks it'll be... Oh yeah. Because, well... Go, it'll go away. I was going to say, hopefully this is the last big snow, but... No, but we got March to go yet. Yeah. And it'll be 30 below and snowing sideways. Well, I'm going on vacation in March to Florida, so I don't care. I shouldn't say that. I do care, because... <laughs> Your flights will all get cancelled. <laughs> we have a house sitter, and the house sitter needs to be able to get into the house. But, but... But look at this. You can still see the factory decals. Do not weld to your frame rail. This deck, I didn't realize it was so rotten, but if you pry up on this, it just picks the back of the deck up. Yeah, it, yeah, it's... It's rotten. It's rotten. It's garbage. This is not, but then that's... <laughs> it's got a bit of weight. You can put that on whatever truck you want. You don't want that? No. <laughs> Ooh, at work they've got some nice uh, stainless rear tail light bo boxes. Well, first we've got to get enough tail frame on it to put them on. Well, that's true, because right now the tail frame is so short you can't even hang mud flaps on it. <sighs> Let's see what the frame looks like when we pull the deck on. Yeah. So. Should we do that today? Yep. Okay. Well, that was my plan. That's only snow. I got boots and coveralls, so. I left my boots here, so when I went to the other house to snow blow, I had to use different boots that didn't quite fit. <laughs> I know, nobody cares, but it was a PIA. And if you know what PIA stands for, it was a pain in the abbreviation for behind. Is it an abbreviation? No, it's... No, it's just ass. Yeah, it's just ass. I think I can say ass. As long as I don't say it too many times. <laughs> Can't say the F word, though. YouTube does not like the F word. Anyways, enough talk. Get to work. Oh, hey, look, an engine. <laughs> so, yeah, I talk too much. Well, what do you do? It's a curse. We're blessing. Um, yeah, my plan. So, talking to the body guys at work, or at least one of them, we have got flat panels made in town before. I uh, said they have done sleeper curves, like on a peat, but I think that's a more gradual curve. And he said there was little lines from the curve. So, and he said they sand it out, but I'm just, I'm not gonna do the curve. I'm gonna take these rivets all out and I'm gonna cut basically along that green line so that the new panel overlaps. And I'm gonna try and take, take this whole side off. So. That's my plan today. If I'm successful today, I'll get that whole side off and we'll get um, the deck off of dad's truck, stubby. But I brought my wiggle saw. So this is the Milwaukee, I don't even know what you call it. I call it a wiggle saw. Pretty sure that's not the right term. Um, but basically this hooks on the end and it goes, but it does it really fast. This one's for wood. I used it on some baseboards and, and it worked really good. So we're going to try it on steel and rivets that are hard to get to. Will it work? I don't know. Stay tuned. We're going to find out though. It's funny looking at the, the fiberglass on the roof of Smokey. Kind of reminds me of Chewbacca from Star Wars, that color of fur. <laughs> don't think your cab is supposed to look like that. But uh, this is, I got the blade in now. Multi-material. When you turn it on, it just vibrates back and forth. So 
Let's see if it'll cut steel. <laughs> I didn't need to be too more dramatic, but you know, sometimes guy does weird things. At least I do. So here's a bolt I was working on last week. Let's see if this works. It's not working. So that didn't work. I'm going to try a half worn out grinding disc because I think it might be small enough to get in there. Of course, I can't see because the light's in the wrong spot. The ball. Hey, yeah. So now, <laughs> these I cut off and should come out. Famous last words. Difficulty, I guess. Let's see if I can get under there or something. How the heck is that? Is that just rivets? Or is that screws? Well, for Pete's sakes, it's screws. <sighs> okay. Well, after all that, it's screwed in. Well, I still had to go through all of that to get the get the um, 
seat belt thingies out and I'm gonna put an extension on that. Ha! There. That's a handy dandy little jack holder. So now this should come out like that. Put it here, all my other parts. And you know, this, this is a bit. Okay, so how do we get this panel out? It's, wow, she's, uh, there's a screw thing there. Or is that a rivet? Looks like a ground. I'd just like to get this. Because I think I need to get this, this. Well, maybe I don't need to get this panel out of the way. I'm going to see if I can pull this out, though. Or we'll leave it. <laughs> okay. So, let's go in here. Yeah, that's what we wanted. Hey, a peanut! <laughs> uh, ouch. Still don't know how that one. Well, I gotta get a brush in here. Let's uh, take some of this stuff out. The Wires up there, take the seat belt out. And the seat belt hooks in that angle. Okay, so this panel, now I got these, I had some hooks down there and another rivet. There we go. <laughs> now we got some juice. Okay. <sighs> So these screws won't come out. Just broke the heads off some. So this mat's coming out because it's, well, it could use a little work. So there's three hook bolts down here and this panel, which has been holding me up, should, <laughs> heavy on the should, come out now. There's a, there's a wire. I don't know what that wire's for. Huh. This broke off something. Oh, maybe that was on the other side. That was, that was in there. <sighs> there. That can get thrown away. And now we can get at these other Ribbits. Ribbit. 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 Dirt. Okay, so let's start cutting. say it's not through yet no it's not I was hoping it would break 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 but it's not so I guess I'll just uh, persevere ouch ah. oh. that thing is not not easy to lay on should I keep tension on the jack or take it off yeah. I'll take it off There, there's no it's tension. It does open up cracks a little more. Okay. So something I've discovered, guys, is this door is actually mounted to the tin. So like this gusset here, I'm not gonna cut those hucks off because I don't need to right now because that's gonna come off with the sheet. And same with this one, I just, Drilled that rivet out, drilled that rivet out. I took the angle piece here off with the drip rail. So I just have to cut these rivets 
off. These ones down here and these here, these ones are all cut off on the inside, except for that one, I think. But what I might do, because to get at these ones, I gotta get in behind. So I need to take either the sleeper bunk off or crawl in there. I think I'm just gonna cut it on the outside and then it'll be opened up so I can get in it because up there, that's, that's all off. But these ones on the door frame, if you can see in there, they're, um, they look like aluminum. I'll get in there better. They're, you can see they're aluminum and it's, I think they kind of squish out. They're not like a, they're not like a huck bolt. So I don't know. I'm going to grind the ends down and then I guess I'll have to kind of hit them with the, uh, <laughs> Hit him with a punch and hopefully that comes off or if it doesn't then i'll have to grind these heads off so eh, give it a whirl i mean i don't have to worry about damaging this panel i don't want to damage the door surround although this door surround is corroded with the typical kenworth door surround corrosion but we're not making it like new so i mean we're gonna make it as close to new as we can but anyways Get to it. wearing a face shield. Of criticism. Salesman, I'm used to getting criticism. There. So now I figured I'd leave these on <clears throat> for now. Oh yeah. I got a light wire. Then I just have to cut, nip the bottom, and go up my straight edge, and then I'll cut these these ones off once the side is off then use this as a template and i'm really hoping that the fab shop can cut out these ask them for me ask them <coughs> i'm going to take and say here i want it exactly the same only <coughs> there's a tape measure only two inches longer what's only two inches longer well right here so I want it to come oh, right to there. Well, are these here just hucks in the tin? Yeah, like there's, the. There's part. nothing behind them. No. Okay. That's that, the, that one had a, is where a gusset is. Yeah. So if I wanted to add the cab extenders, it's just a case of drilling the hole and putting in a. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, carry on. And I'm going to cut the fiberglass there because it's going to overlap under there, yeah. which is probably going to make it hard to do, but eh, whatever. 
There is no rule book, right? Well, there is, but... <laughs> Learn to do by doing. Uh, yeah. Screw okay. a few things up, but... Yeah. Fire in the hole. of the game. Now it's coming up. Oh, on the inside, you put your foot against the middle of it right by that vent. about uh, right in front of the vent there's a rivet holding right by your light <laughs> that one that's the one go burnt panel is now off we got to take it down till we have some oh my gosh look at that oh <gasps> another american nickel that's that's like five six seven that's like eight cents or so so <laughs> i'm just gonna save that <coughs> but uh yeah look at that burnt meltedness but look at that in there that looks good Keep taking it. Oh, hey, it's a nail. Little, I better not throw that somewhere because I'll never know to put it back in. But uh, yeah, that's looking good. We can clean up this part, clean the mud out. There's the bracket. Now this one, this one doesn't, oh, this one came off. So this one has a bend in it. But, I don't know, you could probably just straighten it. I mean, it's just aluminum. 
Um, and this one up here, uh, this one up here, same thing, but it looks straightish on the outside and you can see the, the fiberglass, there is a very thin layer of good, of goodness. But what I might do is cut it and get like a sheet. So I put a sheet on and then I just have to glue it in over there. So then this way is nice and straight rather than trying to bakshi this. But uh, the kicker is I need to go to the wreckers or talk nice to our body shop and see if they got any wrecks where I can get a, a smooth flat sheet of fiberglass to French in. I'll probably cut it like here or there. I'll finish taking these huck bolts out and then the new panel, I'll just make it so it comes over. Um, I'll probably, I might shim this. I'm not sure yet, but, um, but yeah, I'll cut these hucks now that I can get in there and then the new sheet will just go over there and then that way I don't have to uh, try and bend a corner. And look at how easy it is to work on now. Maybe, maybe a guy should put in another door. We'll make it a four door. Just put a big window in. Ooh, <coughs> not a terrible idea. <laughs> well, or do like Ian Wall and put another door in. No, oh, she's, it's almost to the point. Well, it's, it's almost to the point we put it back together. This is what I wanted to do. <laughs> I mean, it's not what I wanted to do, but you know, like our body shop, if you uh if you're at a wreck i mean new trucks wreck all the time you know you squash this corner you just take panels off until you got square good panels and then just start replacing new you know in this panel back in the day you could just order that from packar you could just order the part number and they'd ship you the panel we do it with new peterbilt stuff all the time but these trucks are too old they they quit making the panels for them so actually you know you should try and just see if they happen to have one. Well, I tried. I mean, there's a place in the States you might be able to order it, but yeah. But half the time these big panels get wrecked because they're, uh, because they're large and flat. So it doesn't take much of a, a shipper messing with a box to wreck it. I don't even know if I want to put that vent back in because it was kind of in the closet, which seemed odd. And there's vents on the other side, but I don't know. Ah, uh, let's go have a coffee. It's coffee time. Okay. You know, I know a lot of guys said that I should get a new cab, but this, this is a much better way of doing it. So, and you know what? Taking it apart is the right way. Cause look at, look at this. This was the panel that, that I thought about saving, but <laughs> at the end of the day, you just take it apart and start piecing it together. Cause I mean, look, can you see this part? <laughs> Turn it up. Turn it up. <clears throat> you know, when you look at it, it's, it's just work. Although I did cut that bracket a little bit more than I should have, but oh well. Um, yeah, it's going to be fine. You know what? It's going to be fine. So I'm going to grind these off now and, um, then that way I have a, a flat panel because this is part of the baggage door and take the vent out and then I can go send it or then I can take it to say here make me one of these please so that's what we're gonna do This 
one. Now this is just a, a backing plate for that handle. But no, that one's not right. Round it off all the way. Okay. <clears throat> now I'm not gonna I'm not gonna reuse these ones because they're they're gunky. <laughs> uh. I mean, I could, I guess, but they're, I'd have to, I'd have to sandblast them and that's actually just a stainless steel cover. Huh. Interesting. I should just price them out, buy them. Pretty sure they're all the same. Yeah. There we go. Ta-da! Power off. <laughs> And there we go, one slightly warped K100 cab pound. <laughs> I know! <coughs> that wasn't hard at all. <laughs> Maybe a little bit. Um, but yeah, and I wonder... Yeah, this one we're just gonna run what we brung. I'm not gonna take it apart. We'll just sand it. I don't think it's... I don't think it's swelled. No, good enough. We'll just sand it. So, so yeah, I think that's it for today, guys. Except now we're gonna switch over to Dad's project and pull the deck off Stubby. <laughs> So, now we're going to template. Just got to cut it out. Bad. A couple inches there.
bucket to uh, pick the front up. Yeah. And I well, guess that the chain broke or whatever. But. Well, the chain broke at the hook, but I almost wonder if that's where the bucket was. But uh, well, that you know, don't matter. That's why a person doesn't stand under things. <laughs> yeah. But as bad as it looks, <clears throat> it looks good. Like with not having an insert. Yeah, no frame jacking. Just needs a, a good wash, sandblast. Mm -hmm. Well, actually a good, if it warms up a bit, a guy could take and use the- Just use the pressure washer. Yeah, back it outside and use a pressure washer to take yeah. some of it off. Take some of it like that. Uh -huh. That's been there for years, years and years and years. Yep. 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 It has. It has. How's the? Yeah, there's some swelling underneath the, like these stops on the frame. Oh yeah. Wow. Irregardless, there's lots of. Like this. <laughs> but the but beauty is... They put it on though, they, you know, like they put duct tape under here. Yeah. There's actually still some black tape and, or pardon me, black paint in spots. Yeah. The thing is, it's been parked dirty like this since 2005. So that's... It's like... 18 years. 18 years this has been parked. <clears throat> this fitting, I think the fitting on the front of my new air tank is leaking. <laughs> Did I scare oh, you? Mouse. Not really. Well, for that matter, even if we need cross members, I can get cross members easy. I don't think we do, but if there well, are any. I'm gonna pull this cross member out. For getting the transmission out? And like when we lean it ahead, and uh, yeah, because. Oh, if, this is right. If we had a transmission jack, I put them in to try and keep from burning everything up. Well, that worked. Belt burnt, but that's, it's not smoky in here anymore. <laughs> Amazing how opening the door will do that. Take and pop the, so what, you want to take this off for pulling the tranny out? Yeah, because when you pull it back, the yoke will go under the cross member. Mm -hmm. If we had a transmission jack, I'd take the, the tank out. But we don't have a transmission jack, so we'll take it out through the top. We'll just take the batteries off, because you'd need it. Anyways, where they go out through the bottom or the top, you need to take the batteries off to get out the shifter. Yeah. So, anyways. I was going to say the only problem is we can't start it, but I guess at the end of the day we could... Well, we can come in with the backhoe. Well, yeah. If worse comes to worse, we can sit on that side with the backhoe. Like I want, I'm going to lean the the actually cab ahead. Lean the cab ahead and use the hoe. Yeah, yeah. Because the hoe, at least that way, you're not. You can use it to. It's like putting that engine in. You can controllably yep. extend and retract. Yeah, that's the thing to do. Yep. Oh yeah. Oh well, that is nice that it's. Because I thought for sure it was double frame, but clearly I was wrong, and that's a that's a good thing. <clears throat> yeah. Good, good. <laughs> Let's look back here. Mm, yeah, mm -hmm. put some new brake pots on it. Fix the leveling valve that we. Kind of, yeah, it was here that pulled. But where's the, like am I? Well, the trailer cord is here. Yeah, but I was just 
And what the heck is that? Is that ground? Well, it looks like it's just a wire tied up. Oh, that was probably the temperature sender and somebody just tied it there. That's the ground. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> it's got eaten rear ends. Yeah. I think those might be the same rear ends as that are in... Uh, K2. Yeah. Big Eatons. Mm -hmm. Take that massive cross member out, or thing. That's worth a few bucks in scrap steel right there. Ah, <laughs> uh, well, progress was made. <laughs> right? Whoever questioned, said I should just get a new cab. We're not doing that. We're just getting some more aluminum and then we're putting it all back together. How hard can it be? I mean, you know what? They rebuild them every day. <laughs> I don't, but hey, it's cheaper this way, right? It's just a whole bunch of labor. So my plan, I'm gonna clean up all the surfaces. Um, then we're gonna start on the fiberglass. I'm gonna get all the fiberglass work done before I put this panel on. So like I said, before I was so rudely interrupted by the GoPro, blah, 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 go to GoPro battery dying. Um, clean it all up, do all the fiberglass. So if I make a mess, it doesn't go down my new panel. And I'm gonna take this panel that came off to a local machine shop um, and get a sheet and hopefully they can bend this edge. And if you look at it, look at, it's pretty corroded, eh? So. Um, and the really only, the two biggest concerns I have are making this hole and that hole and cutting this curve. But, and I'm not gonna do that curve. We're just gonna add a couple inches. I'll measure it out. I'm thinking two inches. And uh, yeah, then we just have to drill holes and do it backwards. Oh, and I gotta go get a, I have to get all those panels cleaned up. Maybe sandblasted and powder coated, not sure. Or maybe I can just clean them, clean them up. Probably not, but. Uh, uh, so that's the update for Duke today. And Stubby, oh, oh, you know what? We can't call Stubby Little Deck anymore because he's got no deck. Kenny's got a deck, but not Stubby. So you can see where dad uh, put rivets in the holes and touched it up with a little restoration and uh you know what until we can get it properly painted um it's a 10 foot paint job maybe even a six foot paint job nah it's probably a 10 foot paint job but um but this truck this is dad's baby and uh <laughs> he's got some cool things planned i know who would have thought a 76 year old would have cool things planned but you know what when it comes to old school trucking those are the guys that know so <laughs> ah got to drop the transmission we've got a battery tender on the batteries because those are new batteries so we want to keep them fresh um when the weather smartens up we will pressure wash the frame rails dad's taking this great big giant half inch plate toe plate off and uh yeah I think you guys might be surprised by what his plans are. And if we look out the window, <laughs> there's, hopefully it stops snowing soon. That's all I can say. Hopefully it stops snowing. So anyways, guys, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please hit the like button, subscribe down below, and we'll see you in the next one. Thank you. Take care. Peace. Or, you know, violence. No, I don't mean that. No, that was stupid, Mike. Why would you do that? I don't know. I don't know why I would do that. So. <laughs> you know what? A little Easter egg at the end of the at the end of the show. It's an Easter egg at the end of the show. <sighs> but look at Kenny. Gosh, I love this truck. Needs some work though. He's definitely a little rougher, a little rough around the edges. But um, another setback. I don't know why the setbacks are so so popular, but they are. Oh, such a spiffy little truck.
but uh, I think it'd be really cool to make them into a tri drive. I'm not saying that's what's going to happen, but I think it would be cool to make them into a tri drive. Because in, you know, in Northern British Columbia, Central British Columbia, it's tri drive country. It is. It really is. There's a grill surround on Facebook Marketplace. I need to order it. I meant to talk to Andrew about it, and I forgot. <laughs> what do you do? Take care, guys.